Hey, in today's video, we're going to talk about how to increase sales on Etsy. So as you know, Etsy is a great platform for you uh, to sell handmade products or unique products, or in our case, print on demand products online. So there's three reasons why Etsy is such a great platform. The first is the large customer base. They've got a huge customer base with about 92 or 93 million active users visiting the site every month. This means that you'll have a potential large pool of customers for your products, which is great. The second thing about Etsy is it's very easy to use. It's user-friendly, easy to navigate, making it very simple for sellers like you and I to set up our own shop and to start selling our products, especially print-on-demand products. The platform also provides some helpful, well, helpful resources and tools to assist us in managing our business. And finally, there's a wide variety of products offered on Etsy and a wide variety that you can offer on Etsy. So they range from handmade jewelry, clothing, home decor, vintage items. And this means that uh, there's a place for almost any type of product on the Etsy platform. So overall, Etsy is a great place for you to reach a large audience and sell your products online with its easy to use interface and wide variety of products available that we can sell. It's no wonder that so many people are choosing to sell on Etsy. However, it's not all rainbows and unicorns as always, right? So with so many sellers competing for attention, it can be tough to stand out and drive sales. There's about four and a half million of us out there that are trying to reach this 92, 93 million buyers. That's a lot. So when you type something in there, it's gonna be very difficult for your product to come up at the top of the search results unless you have a well-established store. But hey, you know what? Don't worry, I've got you covered. Here are three simple steps you can take to increase your sales on Etsy. So the first one is optimize your listings. So you wanna be optimizing your listings. It's a crucial step in increasing sales on Etsy. I've got five tips for making your listings as effective as possible. And the first one is to use high quality photos. Good product photos can make a huge difference in attracting potential customers. Make sure you that they're clear, well lit, and that they showcase your products from multiple angles. You might want to consider investing in a good camera or hiring a, like a professional photographer to take photos of your products. In the print on demand world, you don't necessarily want to be using just the mock-ups that are generated from the supplier because everybody else sees that. So what I would suggest is order it Take your own pictures on your own angles with your own backgrounds and everything make it unique and make it stand out that'll be a great way to get those photos looking as good as possible uh, the second tip is to write detailed and informative descriptions so your product descriptions should clearly explain what your product is what makes it unique and you want to include information about uh, material size care instructions any other relevant details that the customers might want to know um, the third tip is to include keywords in your titles and tags. So if it's a uh, gift for a wife, put a uh, gift for wife or a gift for her. You want to make sure that's in the title because the first couple words of the title are, title are the most important for the Etsy algorithm to find and to release the results. So it, when you use relevant keywords in your titles and tags, that can help your product show up in the search results. So you wanna be doing some research, find out what terms and phrases customers might be searching for when they're looking for products like yours and include those keywords in your listings. So the fourth tip is to use variations. So if you have multiple colors, sizes, or styles of a product, consider using variations to list each option kinda separately. This can make it easier for customers to find exactly what they're looking for and make a purchase. I see a lot of people that will make like a, a t-shirt and then they'll put it on a hoodie and then they'll put it on a sweatshirt and then they'll put it on a tank top. <clears throat> and that, <clears throat> excuse me, I've even seen people put it on a coffee mug all in the same listing. Don't do that. Just make a new listing, make variations of that product. The less choice that people have, that consumers have to buy a product, uh, the higher the chance that they're actually gonna buy it. That's proven, right, through market research. So the fifth tip is, Utilize tags. So Etsy allows you to use up to 13 tags per product. So make sure to use them all <laughs> to help your product show up in relevant searches. Considering using a combination of broad 
and very specific tags such as like handmade necklace and turquoise jewelry. So by following those tips, you can make your listings more appeal and effective at driving sales on Etsy. Now, the second main tip overall that you wanna to consider to increase your sales is to promote your products, okay? So promoting your products is key. Um, it's a key aspect of driving sales on Etsy. So there's five ways that you can get your products in front of more potential customers. And this is going beyond just relying on Etsy to send you sales. You gotta go beyond that. So the first one is use social media. So you wanna share your products and updates about your Etsy shop on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, even TikTok, I would put that in there. Make sure to use relevant hashtags and tag your products in your posts to make them more discoverable. Uh, the second thing with promotion is collaborate with other Etsy sellers. So you might wanna consider partnering with other Etsy sellers to cross promote each other's products. This can be a great way to reach a new audience and drive traffic to your shop. A little bit difficult to do, but it is possible. The third one is join Etsy teams um, and forums. So Etsy has a number of teams and forums that allow sellers to connect with one another and they can share tips and advice. So participating in these groups can help you get your, your products in front of a larger audience simply because you make posts in there and those are buyers too. And they will start going to your shop and looking at your products and they'll buy them. And then when they buy them, it can have a snowball effect where they might recommend them to their friends and family. And then you get even more and more sales, all right? Now the fourth one is one that most people don't wanna do, but that is running paid ads. So if you wanna reach a wider audience, you wanna consider running paid ads on platforms like uh, Facebook or Google. Now, I wouldn't really do this direct. I would just rely on Etsy's internal system to do it. But um, you can target your ads to specific demographics or interests to make sure they're reaching the right people. Uh, that is if you go external. If you go internal, you can't really do that. There's not really all that much control with Etsy ads besides shutting off uh, products or turning them on. Etsy also has offsite ads that you're gonna be participating in regardless. So the fifth tip is offer promotions and discounts. What you wanna consider is offering promotions or discounts to encourage sales. This can be a great way to attract new customers and to drive repeat business. Make sure to clearly communicate the terms of your promotion to avoid any confusion. I suggest running a sale basically every day. <laughs> like every single day have a sale running, whether it's a two day sale, one day sale, week long sale, have a sale running. And then when your listings show up in the search results too, it will say the price with it crossed out and then like 20% off in the real price. That's a good thing, all right? So by following these tips, you can effectively promote your products and drive more traffic to your Etsy shop. Now, the third main tip in trying to increase your sales on Etsy is to engage with your customers. Happy customers means more sales. So engaging with your customers is a very important aspect of running a successful Etsy shop. So here's five ways that you can build relationships with your customers and provide excellent customer service. So number one, respond to customer inquiries and reviews in a timely manner. Make sure that you're checking your Etsy messages and reviews and respond to customer inquiries and feedback as quickly as possible. This shows the customer that you value their business and that you're committed to providing excellent customer service. The second thing is offer personalized communication. So considering, uh, sorry, consider offering personalized communication to your customers like thank you notes or personalized recommendations based on their past purchases. This can help build a strong relationship with your customers and encourage repeat business. The third thing is consider offering custom orders. So some customers might be interested in customizing a product to fit like their specific needs or preferences. So you might wanna consider offering custom orders as a way to accommodate these customers and build a stronger relationship with them. Fourth tip, provide clear and detailed shipping and return policies. Make sure to clearly communicate your shipping and return policies to customers and avoid any confusion or misunderstanding. So providing clear policies can help build trust with your customers and make them more likely to make a purchase. Fifth tip is considering office offering post-purchase support. So after a customer has made a purchase, Considering offer, offering post-purchase support, so like troubleshooting, assistance, or product care tips, this can help build a positive customer experience and encourage repeat business. I know when I sell digital products, I get some questions on, how do I open this? How do I download this? And I, I've actually shot videos that I will send to them, and they will say, okay, here's how you open the file. Here's If it's a zip file, here's how you unzip it. 
Here's how you open it in Photoshop. Here's how you open it in Canva. Here's how you open it in Photopea. Um, and then if I get requests for other ones, I will actually shoot a video and I'll send that to the customer. And I can tell you that they're very happy when they get those videos because they're like, you went above and beyond, that's awesome. They'll come back and they'll buy more. So by following these tips, you can effectively engage with your customers and provide excellent customer service, which can ultimately drive more sales on Etsy, putting more money in your pocket, which is the ultimate goal here. So there you have it. Three simple tips to increase sales on Etsy, optimize your listings, promote your products and engage with your customers. You'll be well on your way to success on the platform. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel for more great content. And until next time, happy selling.